Gamers, welcome back. It's been a while since I've done a review, um, being because I didn't like Google Plus, didn't want to work with it, but with a lot of convincing, I came back. And also, I wanted to start with this game off because I've been waiting a few weeks for it to get patched up. Uh, the first initial week, there was a lot of rubber banding and lag and crashes with the game, a lot of bug problems, but they worked out the kink, patched it up, works fine now, so I feel comfortable playing this game. If you know what you're seeing, then you probably own the game, but if you don't own this game, get it. It's one of my favorite games of the year now because I always find myself playing different games and coming back to this constantly. This is Battlefield 4. Uh, this is the PC version of the game. It's available on the console also. I'll start off by reviewing the single player of the game. I've beaten it twice. I thought it was okay. It wasn't well done or great. I thought it could use more work. Um, I hope that in the future they can make a better single player. I didn't like it too much, but some of the scenes in it were pretty cool. Some of the action that took place, like the battleship cracking in half, that was really cool. But other than that, the whole story was just all over the place, so it was really confusing and mind-boggling. And hopefully they'll write a better story in the future, since uh, it was just so big. Long story short, the game takes place six years after the Battlefield 3 event. The game itself, the United States are still at war with Russia, and eventually China is now on the brink of war also. The game will have you, you know, assisting some VIPs, and at the same time you learn that, you know, the United States blame for assassinating a potential candidate. And uh, it all starts from there. I don't want to get too much into it because it's going to be a lot of spoilers, but you can play from there and see for yourself how it is. A lot of noticeable thing in this game has changed. There's a lot of new upgrades, but the most noticeable is definitely the engine of the game. Uh, it's running on Frost Engine 3 now, so it's a lot better. A lot better on the destruction. There's a lot of upgrades. There's uh, weapon balancing. It's a great game to play now. It's more fun to play. Um, new modes for the game. I, my favorite being Obliteration, and it's the one with the bomb, and you work in squads and basically try to take it to certain points and blow up the points. But it's a fun it's a fun mode and also the commander mode is now back from battlefield 2 if you know what the commander mode is it's damn boring uh, for sure right now it is damn boring because there isn't much to do in it except send out uavs command troops here and there um, there's a few things you can do with it such as calling the ac 130 which is really cool and another thing is you can send artillery strikes on certain maps but you can't do it for every map so some of the maps you just sit there and basically command people left and right and it gets boring and dry real fast unless you have a tablet you can do that you know when you're not playing the game or you're at work or something you're like hmm I think I'll command some troops here and there and have them do this and that but hopefully they add more in the future to make the commander mode a lot more fun we'll see you on the upgrade you know it's all about the fun so hopefully it's a lot more fun than just sitting there and pressing one thing and just upgrading troops and sending out the same UAVs over and over with another commander. Another thing is once you take the commander chair, you can't be in the game anymore. So that makes it like, damn, you know, you have to be really committed to sit in that chair. And another noticeable upgrade is there's a bit more guns here and there now, a lot more customization on your character, a lot of unlocks you can do. There's a ton of things to do in this game now to work towards too, and it makes it a lot more fun. The other thing I like about this game is the uh, sound effects. It's one of my favorite top. I, love, I play a support class, as you can tell, so I love using machine gun. I love suppressing fire, filling ammo for my team. The classes are back. The you know the other classes are okay. I'm not good with sniping, so I don't do it as much. I try to, but I suck. The other uh, class I like to play as is engineer. I love to repair stuff. Maybe fly some helicopter here and there and get shot down. You know, fly some jets. But other than that, you know, support is my class. That's what I play. So I enjoy the sound effects from the machine guns a lot. It's just brrr every single time. Another aspect of the game I really like is the fact that the entire map feels a lot. There's a lot more action than any Battlefield 3 maps combined. A lot of the maps are cool. Some of them people don't like. A lot of people, you know, think all the maps suck. It really depends on your preference on which map you like. Mine being Parcel Storm. Uh, Parcel Storm is really cool because it's like a map that changes between the environment. All of a sudden it starts raining, the ocean starts going crazy. You know, majority of it's just islands. It looks really cool. And, you know, the whole aspect of that. And then, like, lightning hits a windmill or a turbine, if you want to call it that. The uh, battleship that's lodged to it all of a sudden comes loose hits the land and then becomes instant AA for the team that controls the point. So it's really a cool thing, um, really cool to watch. I'll show it to you in a bit in this section, in a, another section, but it's one of my favorite maps. 
Also, another thing is you can get the game real cheap right now. It's on sale on uh, Origins website. Overall, you know, my favorite things about the game, uh, destructions, the graphics, the sound effects. I still love them. Multiplayer is really fun now this time. I uh, love the Frost Engine 3. The only things I didn't like about it is, like I said before, I don't like browser for a server. I don't like the whole browser aspect of the server. It's a preference thing. You know, we're having a good old built-in brow uh, server browsers. But other than that, the other thing I didn't like was how, you know, we waited a week or two weeks for everything to fix up. I mean, it got fixed eventually, but, you know, during the first few weeks, it was hell. But uh, now it's solid. And the other thing is single player wasn't so great. You know, it, that needs to work. Um, but aside from that, it's a very enjoyable game. Every single game I play, I keep finding myself coming back to this game. So it's worth the purchase. And like I said before, it's on sale right now. So you should grab it while you can. Uh, other than that, remember gamers, the game on. I'll be pumping up my other reviews and other games. You'll see a lot more games coming in. You'll see a lot of PS4 games. You'll see Xbox One games. So until then, game on. And for some good on revolution. Oh shit, is that my team up there? Oh well. Revolution! <laughs> Here we go. Revolution! Wait, where the fuck is the water? That was the point of that. Revolution! Here it comes! I'm gonna get it! I'm gonna get it! Revolution! Oh shit! I'm dead. Crush me. Wow. Here it comes! Revolution! Oh! What an ass. I helped them destroy that too. At least I flooded the map. Oh, shit. I gotta go see this. I guess you gotta slam it. You must scale that tower. The MK. Revolution! Alright, this is it. The last pillar. I'm taking this building down. It's going down. Yeah. Shit, I'm getting shot. Here it comes! Revolution! Oh shit, the server just crashed. 